You know what that means? It's table spotlight. All right, table spotlight. That's when we go and reach out into the chat room and we find people who have signed up for table spotlight and they're, we're gonna turn their cameras on, turn their microphone on, and we're gonna have a conversation. Maybe they have something to show us that they have for sale. Maybe they have something they wanna talk about they wanna trade. Maybe they just wanna you know, introduce themselves like a new member. So our first table spotlight, and please start the ones. I wanna see the ones start going. Our first table spotlight is all the way from the United Kingdom, ladies and gentlemen, Darren Mann. Good Hi, evening. Darren. How are you all doing? Can you hear us? I can indeed. Thank you very you much for letting us. me drop in. I can. Darren, thank you. Thank you. This is really, you're the first one. This is, we've never done this before. And, uh, and the, give I'm, me a favor before we start. Could you do me a, just tell us, what do you like to collect? I am a modern collector generally, but uh, I'll generally go for skull decks. Those are the majority of my uh, collection. Uh, so we're looking at Momentum Moris. We're looking at some of the, the, the tattoo series uh, from Bicycle. Anything around those kind of skull themes. So there's quite a bit out there. What attracts you to skulls? Um, no um, nefarious ideas. I just think they produce quite beautiful art um, and they fit the kind of theme that sits underneath um, uh, the skullduggery that sits inside cards. Interesting. Interesting. There's been a lot of playing cards over the history of time that have featured a skull. Uh, for instance, if you read this month, it'll come out tomorrow. Jason McKinnistry has an October issue of Collector's Corner, and he talks about a skull in there. So I think you're going to love that. I think you're going to love that. Thank you. So, how long have you been collecting cards? Not very long. Only about two years now. Okay. Well, hey, welcome. Welcome. Thank you. We appreciate you coming. We certainly appreciate, I know that there's a six or seven hour time difference of where you are versus where we are. So I thank you for staying up. I, uh, yeah, it's not that late. You, you probably just had dinner. Um, oh, sorry. So, First on deck ahead. means I can be here quite early, but for hanging around for, for Jackson later on, it's going to take some of our time. It's worth it. Trust me, it's worth it. Okay, so do you have any decks that you would like to show us that maybe perhaps you'd like to sell? I've got a couple that, I, I mean, my collection's not huge and it's not as extensive as many of you people out there. Um, there there's some, I've got some stuff out there. Let me just... Yeah, you don't have to apologize. You know, you have three decks. That's all. As long as you love playing cards, we're going to hang out. You know, we, we're all the, we are all like-minded in this room and there's a lot of love <laughs> and empathy. So well, you don't I'm, have to I'm, have a huge collection. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to regrail you with how I started with um, collecting playing cards while I'm waiting for the, the, the screen share just to kick in. Um, I started playing, collecting playing cards because of burgers. Um, if you're from the UK, you may know uh, the, the Byron Burger Company, and they have 52 stores throughout the UK. Um, and each store has its own unique playing card. Um, so as you go to each store and enjoy far too many burgers, you collect each one and you get a whole deck. And eventually Byron actually emailed me their, their uh, promotional deck. Uh, and that was the first deck of cards I actually collected. Um, hold it, and up, then hold it up so we can see it. Hold it up so we can see it. So that's the, the promotional deck. But I've also then got each one that I collected from each individual store with each individual store address on the yeah, back. I was going to say, is that the back design? Um, no, that's the, that, that's the back design. But as you can see, that's the restaurant in Liverpool. Then you have the restaurant in Wardour Street. And as you go around the country, each individual calling card is an individual playing card. Wow. This is incredible. I've never seen this promotion before. Well, it, it takes a lot of burgers to get all the way through the promotion, I can assure you of that. <laughs> so did you have to eat every single, at every single place to, to get a card? Uh, I'm, I can neither confirm nor deny that. Uh, you're taking the fifth, as we say. Uh, <laughs> indeed, indeed. <laughs> but then I started to, to enjoy that promotional side of cards and then to kind of really start looking at cards and the kind of artistry that sits inside them. Um, and I started enjoying it. And that's why I enjoy collecting uh, modern cards and some of those promotional cards as well. 
so in the chat room right now, they're saying that your legend status has been achieved. Well, I thank you. You're very generous. <laughs> okay, my friend, your screen is being shared. Let's see what you got. Cool. Well, as I said, I haven't been collecting for very long, and I, I've been trying to reach back in and get as many interesting decks as I possibly can. Where are you going? Oh, go ahead and share your screen again. We actually have a little extra time because one of our lights actually dropped out. So it's totally fine. But there we go. I see your screen. I see your screen. Oh, fantastic. Um, so I, I do apologize if I cause any offense. Um, but in my misbegotten youth, um, I went by the nickname of Dice when I was gaming. So I hope I've caused no offense. No. <laughs> no offense. Um, so Roll the dice. Uh, one of the early decks I, I collected, and I actually collected two sets, was from the 2012 uh, London Olympics um, from the, the House of Playing Cards. Um, so this is one of those sets that, that sticks together. I've got two of them, and this is one of the sets I was looking around to trade. It, obviously, being a London boy, uh, these are close to my heart, but I've got one and I want to share the love. Great. So if anyone's interested in this set, they can contact you via email. We're going to see your email in a second. Right now you're sharing your screen, so we can't see your lower third. But as soon as you stop sharing your screen, your email will be visible to everyone. And if anyone wants to either buy or trade for this, this pack, you're saying, please yep. contact Aaron. Yes, please. Um, again, I'm on the, the playing card forum as Dice UK, um, but I've also, uh, I'll have my email address at the end of the, the deck. Uh, there is a lot of, everyone starts collecting uh, the modern decks with Bicycle, I think. And I think we've, I, I've definitely grown my collection um, by using the Bicycle decks. Again, Skull's sitting in the middle of all of this. Of course, of course. We've also got some of those kind of antique and steampunk style um, bicycles that are out there. It just feeds that collection and it feeds the desire to start buying more and more. You'll forgive me that I, I'm not a magician. I don't crack these open and start using them. Who doesn't love the smell of a, an open deck of cards? That's right. That's right. Still, again, carrying on with the bicycle. That you just can't help buying them, can you? No, they're, they're pretty amazing. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you keep going. I'm going to have to mute my mic for a second. We're, we're actually having an audio issue, but we can hear you and see you fine. So I'm going to let you keep going. Fantastic. Good. Thank you. Um, I'm a big fan of the Carnival series as they came out of Bicycle. I thought they were, they were quite unique and they kind of played that ethereal um, skullduggery that sits underneath uh, a, a lot of um, the cards I collect. Carrying on, and, and the Plug Nickel is a, is a big fan. I, I'm, I'm a big fan of, um, so much so I bought too many of them. So if anyone wants to buy these through or trade with me, please let me know. That would be great to hear from you. I'm also here as well because it's, it's my first convention. Um, it was disappointing not to be able to fly out to you, but in these times, I think this is the best we can do. Um, but really, I want to try and meet a lot more people, potentially in the UK, but also worldwide, speaking to you about cards, about the kind of things that are coming up, um, and those designs that are starting to come out, um, I recently started investing in Kickstarters as well. And that is a very slippery slope. I, I'm sure you all agree. Um, more of a steampunk. Um, you're seeing a theme here. My last set of bicycles that I've got here, again, the Luchadors. Oh, I'm being drawn on the screen. Someone's attacking me. Um, I'm a big fan of the Pipmen, and from Ellen, I think they're actually quite unique and quite interesting as well. I've collected all of those um, across the piece. Quite an unusual set. <laughs> Moving backwards. Um, also, um, again, another set of the Memento Moris. Um, it kind of attracts me every time. Um, but, and that's pretty much what I've got on deck for everyone. That's um, fabulous, Darren. Fabulous. What a selection. Again, not as much as many of all of you. Just go ahead and stop sharing your screen for a second. There, there we go. go. Now we can see your name. We can see your email. Guys, if anyone in the chat right now saw something they want to buy or trade, or they just want to say hello to Darren, please, there's his email. Reach out to him. He'd love to hear from you. Darren, do you have any questions for us? You're a new member, my friend. How are you enjoying yourself so far? It's Good. It's good. It's nerve-wracking being first up, especially following on from Kevin. Um, no, I don't think anyone could top that coming after. So 
Um, thank you, Kevin, for that. Um, but no, I'm really looking forward to, to speaking with more of you, um, uh, finding out more about you and your decks um, and, what, and what's potentially in store of us over the next couple of years. Great. You know what? Really, thank you. Thank you for coming. You did a fabulous job as the lead off. I know that it was probably very stressful. Uh, you know, it's all, it's all new for us. It's all new for us too. So we're all in the same boat. You did a wonderful job. If we can get the ones going for this man in the chat room, please. There we go. Thank you all. Here's the Great, appreciate This is that. all for you. This is all for you. And have a fantastic convention, everyone. And hopefully this time next year, we'll do it all again properly. Okay, Darren, thank you so much. We appreciate it. And wonderful spotlight, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So next we have, and you know what? Before I tell you who's up, I also want to tell you that he is, he's a winner. He won something this year. And he's about to find out that he is the winner. I did not tell him. I was waiting for his table spotlight. But I'd now like to introduce Dr. Joseph Zampetti. Hi, everybody. How you doing? Hey, Joe. Nice to see you. Yeah, it's great to see you, too. Uh, unfortunately, like everyone, I wish we were doing this in person. But, you know, this will work. This, uh, you know, uh, at least we're able to do something this year. And it's good to, to see all of you. And I want to welcome Derek and all the other new members. Uh, I think that they'll uh, find that uh, the organization itself is really fantastic, the network that we have, and be able to reach out to people all over the world uh, to share in uh, our common enthusiasm of cards, I think is remarkable. And I think that they'll get a lot out of it, at least I hope they do. And um, I'm looking forward to this convention. Um, cool. So, Thank you, Yeah, Joe. thanks for having Thank me. You. Do me a favor real quick. Right now, your phone is in a portrait. If you just turn it on the side, we're going to get a landscape. There we go. Hey. There, now we can see a full screen. There okay. we go. Perfect. So real quick, before we get into your table spotlight, I would like to officially congratulate you. You, as you know, are the winner of the season two singled out. That's you, man. You, you dominated. There wasn't even a close second place. Steve, oh, really? You were the close second place, but it wasn't close. <laughs> so let's throw some ones in the chat for this guy. By the well, way, thanks. singled That's out is the game. I go ahead. And I, and I won the first one, too. So I'm the That's reigning right. champ, apparently. You are the reigning champ. It's going to be <laughs> tough, man. I don't know who's going to beat you. Like, you're, you're, you're killing it. Like, it was savage. There wasn't a close second. It was, it was brutal this year, Joe. So, oh, wow. Well, I think, it, I think it's really a lot of fun. And I learn a lot about the decks when I am trying to figure out all the you know, little nuances and, and whatnot. And so I think it's a, it's a great idea uh, to, Thank you. Um, you know, educate people on cards. For those of you who don't know what we're talking about, members, certainly you do. Card Culture is a magazine that we send out to the membership every month. It's your digital copy. And in there is a game called Singled Out. And it's brought to us by the friends of the CPCC. That's the Chicago Playing Card Collectors Club. They're the singles collectors. And so we take three cards, three back designs from antique, vintage, and modern, and we put them up. And we make you guess who designed them, who printed them, who's the manufacturer, who's the producer, all these different things. And uh, you, you have a chance to, to score 90 points each month. And I think this year we did, we did nine is the way that it worked out. And like I say, Dr. Joe Zampetti, there wasn't a close second. <laughs> he dominated. <laughs> so if you think that you can beat Joe, we'll see you next year, 2000 and, excuse me, 2021 starting January 15th. That's when the next season three will begin in card culture. If, and the only way you're going to get it, if you're, if you're not a member, is to join. Go right now, 52 plus Joker, and join. Okay, Dr. Zompetti, welcome to Table Spotlight. We're Thanks. thrilled. I have no idea what you're about to show us, but I am excited. So I'm going to hand over the reins to you, sir, and I'm going to let you do your thing. Okay, I appreciate that. I I'm not really quite sure how to do all of this, to be honest with folks. Um, we'll, work, we'll, we'll work it through. You know, we have a lot okay. of time. There's a lot of love in the chat, so no one's going to get mad right. or judge you. We've judged you years ago. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sure you did, and I, I'm uh, honored that you asked me back. So. <laughs> um, Absolutely. So anyway, uh, yeah, it's, uh, uh, I, love, I love cards. Uh, you know, I've got the addiction that most of you have, and I've uh, <clears throat> been trying to rein that in a little bit, but it doesn't seem to be working. No, I just keep accumulating yeah. more and more cards. <laughs> it's um, an addiction. But I do have, I do have some to sell today. Um, and I, I kind of set up my table as if, you know, we were face to face, like we, like we've done in the past. So okay. 
I don't know how to flip my camera. I'll tell you how. Uh, I'll tell you how, camera. Joe. Here we go. Okay. Take your finger, press your screen, and what you're going to see are two arrows chasing each other. You want to press that, and it'll flip to your front camera. I'm not seeing any arrows. No? Okay. Mm -hmm. Are there dots? Uh, yeah. Oh, and then, okay, now uh, it says... Yeah, on the dots, uh, share content, stop video. Uh, no, more. you're in Zoom. I'm asking for you to do it on your phone. This is a phone oh. thing. Oh, uh, yeah, I, nothing's coming up from my phone. All right, so I'll tell you what, Joe, just turn your phone around. That's just okay. as easy. Okay, well, all right. And here's we the We won't thing be able too. to see you, but we'll hear right, you. Right, right. And that's, that's actually better. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you all would rather see the cards. Um, but here's the thing, too. Uh, I've got a lot of stuff here, and... Uh, everything's already uh, priced, so to speak, although, you know, I, I'm willing to uh, entertain options uh, or other, you know, other bids. Uh, things are negotiable. Uh, Shipping is negotiable, all that stuff, right? So if you're interested in any of these decks, uh, just send me an email, uh, and I'd love to talk to you about it. And I also have a lot more, too. So if you're looking for something in particular that nobody else has on their table, I might have it. So uh, send, me, send me a request. But anyway, I want to flip the phone around now. <clears throat> Hopefully you can see things. There we go. Now, here's the deal, Joe. Just go nice and slow so we can see everything you got. There we go. Might want to tilt it down a little bit. There you go. All right. Ooh, wow. You're starting heavy, man. This is, this is beautiful stuff. Low Trek decks. Very good. If you want to start panning over a little bit to the right. Oh, did we lose Joe's audio? It seems like he's muted his phone. Joe, can you hear us? If you can hear us, you hear us. You want to yes. Talk? There we go. There we go. Now we can hear you. Oh, okay. okay. So let's go back. Let's start. Sorry, we didn't okay. hear anything you said. So we're going to start with the silk, the low trek silk. Look at that. How gorgeous. Oh yeah. Yeah. This is, this is just phenomenal. Yeah, he, phenomenal piece of he art. did our club deck last year. He's absolutely tops. He's incredible oh, yeah. work. Oh yeah, very very nice. Hey, let's if you can pan over to the right, we can see what else you got there. Yeah, I got. Uh, there are two different versions of the Fable deck. There was the Craft series, which is this one here on the right, uh, and essentially that was the the first version that was released. Um, and I, I think I could be wrong about this, but I think Lotrek was just trying to get a feeler for what people thought about the, the particular deck and design. Joe, hold your phone a little higher so we can get a better perspective. There we go. A little higher, a okay. little higher, a little higher. There it is. Perfect. Okay. All right. And then the, uh, so then uh, I'm sure they, they sold like wildfire. So he then uh, released the regular uh, version of the Fable deck. Uh, which has, uh, as you can tell, a much nicer tuck to it, uh, embossed with gold foil. Uh, very, very nice. Gorgeous. And then uh, the thing that I was saying earlier that you may not have heard was for folks who are not familiar with Lotrex work, I would strongly recommend that they check out the Arabesque decks. They're very affordable, uh, but they still showcase uh, the type of work that he does. I mean, it's just fantastic art. These uh, these tuck cases are also embossed um, with, uh, with metallic ink, I think. Um, and uh, there's metallic ink on the cards. I don't know how he produced these, actually. It's They're such incredible. A price point. They're absolutely fantastic, amazing decks of cards. I'm yeah, shocked yeah. you're selling them, Joe. <laughs> well, uh, I have many of them, so uh, I don't need all of them. Uh, all right, I'm going to scroll down a little bit here. Um, I've got a, an old vintage uh, Louis Vuitton double deck. Uh, the cards are in excellent condition, but the box has uh, shown quite a bit of wear and tear. Uh, but if you're interested in uh, snagging a Louis Vuitton deck, that the, the ones that are uh, in really good shape go for as much as like $400, I think. Um, I'm certainly not asking that amount for this, given the wear and tear in the tuck, but uh, certainly uh, can negotiate with folks if they're interested in that. So you're saying you've got deals, you've got your you price things to move is what you're saying. Exactly, exactly. And I, you know, and I want to talk to people. <laughs> I get lonely. So, Absolutely. Uh, 
And then uh, over here, we've got some Jackson Robinson decks. Go ahead and pan see. over to your right for us so we can see what yeah, you're talking Tigers about. Yeah, the Tigers decks. Uh, those are also very nice. I love Jackson's work. Uh, yeah, and so I have several, ver or several copies of those, so I'm willing to part with a couple of them. Okay. Um, this bicycle deck you could only get if you join the Curiosity Box Club, which is every month you get a box of interesting puzzles and stuff like that. Um, so it's kind of hard to find, but um, in any case, there's, uh, there's that bicycle deck. Uh, the Makti Magician deck that some of you are probably familiar with. Yeah, Matty Gilbert. Um, he's, a local, he's a local magician here in Toronto. We know him very, yeah. very well. Very well. Um, scrolling down, the external rain decks are also very nice, uh, kind of in the spirit, I think, of uh, Lautrecian genre of cards. Um, if we can use I think that I just word, that word, Lautrec. But uh, I think that uh, you know, the artwork is really nice on these. This is by Riffle Shuffle. Uh, and uh, I could sell them as a set or individually, of course. Absolutely um, gorgeous. And then, you know, I've got some other just sort of random cards. I'm just going to kind of scroll around so people can kind of take a, a little look at what I've got. I'm not going to yeah, go start through panning each over one. the right, Joe. Let's see what else you have to the right. Yeah. And we're, uh, we're all I'm agreeing gonna... in the chat room that low Trekkian is now an official, now word. official word. Yes. <laughs> nice. Um, I have several of the Thorns and Roses decks. These are also really nice. Oh, Joe, uh, can, move it up, move it up so we can see. There we go. Okay. Wow, those are yeah. beautiful. Yeah. Uh, all right, so speaking of marked cards or marked decks, there's the Medusa deck. I don't know if uh, you and Kevin talked about that deck at all. But uh, I don't it's think nice, that was mentioned. Uh, I, and I like the Greek and Roman mythology uh, themes. And so uh, I, I really think that deck's pretty cool. Um, solo kid decks are uh, sort of brand new. The, I think Frozen was the first one from the Solo Kid series, but uh, that's uh, produced by Riffle uh, Bokobo, and then the Sakura decks are by Riffle Shuffle. Um, right. And here in the right. middle, I have two original Jerry's Nuggets decks. Say that again. Yeah, two original Jerry's Nuggets decks. OG, nineteen seventy. Yes. They're both in mint pristine condition with the seal on them. Don't touch them too much, Joe. Don't touch them too much. <laughs> <laughs> but I know that people want to see the seal too, so they know that it's genuine. Um, but in any case, you know, uh, these are in mint, mint, mint condition. Perfect. As issued from the factory. Fabulous. Exactly. So yeah, those are, that's, you've got an incredible selection here, Joe. Really oh, and incredible. I'm not, I'm not even halfway through yet. <laughs> okay, let's keep going, man. We got time. All right, all right. So then uh, I've got some of the uh, Sumi decks here, uh, Japanese, Asian-themed artwork. Uh, very nice. Uh, lots of decks by Jody Eklund, uh, another one of my favorite artists. Um, so yeah, he's fabulous. Uh, I've got he's several a, a from his Top member. Aces series, two of the World War I decks and then one of the World War II Top Aces decks. Uh, including an Iron Horse, a Golden Spike, etc. cetera. Uh, then I'm going to move over here. I've got uh, both of the Inferno decks. Uh, you can buy them separately or as a set. Um, going to keep going up here. Uh, Randy Butterfield, another awesome artist. Oh, He's an active move member. Move it up so uh, we can see. West so decks can see. There, the Black Hills and the Deadwood decks. Move it up so we can see, um, Joe. We can't Paul, see at the moment. You can't see that? No, move it over to the right. Move it over to the right. There we go. There we Better. Go. A little Better. more, a little more, a little more. There we go. Okay. Yeah, thanks for letting me know, because I, I obviously have no idea what you're saying. Hey, man, I'm your wingman. I'm here to, All right. I'm here to make this as easy and successful for you as possible. Well, I appreciate that. Yeah, so then there's the, the radiant decks. One of my actually all-time favorite decks. Uh, this is from Paul Carpenter, as many of you know. He's uh, also a very active member. Uh, great guy. Uh, this has got the embossed gold foil tuck case to it. And then on the back, it's got this awesome cutout that you can see there, hopefully. Yeah. yeah. Uh, which just really adds a nice touch of artistry to the tuck case. He's fabulous. Paul Carpenter is absolutely Oh, yeah. Fabulous. Really, really fine work there. Uh, then uh, Jody Eklund's, uh, the three uh, Inception decks there at the top. Uh, let's see. Let's go over here. Almost done. No worries, man. Take your time. We have a lot of time. 
the mechanic industries decks. Um, well, I appreciate over to the right, the time. Joe. Push over to the right so we can see it. I appreciate the time that you're giving me to do this, uh, but I will confess I have to I have to kind of rush a little bit because I have to teach a class. You know, uh, classes are in session, but they're all online, so I have to absolutely. Have to get and we appreciate any bit. time you give us. Yeah. So. Uh, the Swordsman is a really cool deck. Many folks may not know about this deck. I don't know if you can see it, um, but it's from the Ravenswood Academy. Don't tell me women are not the stuff of heroes. Um, <laughs> it's about the Swordsman. Uh, all of the uh, court cards uh, feature um, you know, warrior type women, uh, and it's really sort of supposed to be you know an empowering uh, kind of homage to uh, strong women uh, throughout history. Um, Absolutely. Got the volume one, the first version of the bicycle Sylvain Juzan decks. This is really, really hard to find. So if you're a bicycle, my bicycle collector, collectors out there, if you don't have that, yeah. there you go. Joe's the guy that's got one if you want one. And then the uh, Usi, the uh, oh, yeah. Jumpanu Bahamar Casino deck, also very, very hard to find. Do me a favor, uh, Joe, turn your, turn your phone again. You're, you're in do. portrait. You want to go landscape. That's yeah, probably because my arm's getting tired. Are you back to landscape yet? Nope. Not yet. Just turn it on its side. Hold on. There we go. There we go. Uh, all right. So you were saying the Usi deck, the Usi deck. Yeah, the Usi deck. Uh, just wonderful artwork. They, they do a fantastic job with all of their decks. Yeah, they're terrific. Uh, this they one made, in, as in you know, they made our club deck this year. It's spectacular. Yeah, yeah and I'm really excited about that, too, because they do just awesome stuff. Uh, all right, I'll scroll down a little bit now. Uh, this section of my table down here on the bottom right are a bunch of David Blaine decks. So I've got the Outlier uh, Collective Case. Um, I can try to open it up with one hand so folks can see it. Um, this is the hard part, right, Joe? This is the hard part. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> can you see that? It's got uh, one is reversed and one is uh, standard regular. Um, but a uh, really nice deck that uh, embossed Tuck there. He sold those uh, during his uh, tour. Yes, um, beautiful. And rumor has it he was thinking about touring again, but then we got struck with COVID. So hopefully uh, we'll be able to see him on tour again. Anyway, then I've got some Black Lion decks, uh, a Golden Split Spades deck, which is really nice. I've got a variety of Gator backs. The green one's really hard to find for some reason, yeah. at least at a reasonable price. So... Uh, you can get it for me uh, at a even at a at a price that you won't find on eBay. I promise you. And again, and everything is probably, for sale. Is that correct, Joe? Everything we're yes, seeing is for everything sale. that I just showed is for sale. Absolutely. Great. And then here's the the last deck. I'll pr well, I, two two more decks I, I want to mention. This yeah, one here time. is the uh, Skull and Bones Private Reserve deck from David Blaine that uh, he signed, as you can see there. Hopefully, uh, yes. and then. I hope Derek's still watching. There's a, there are the skulls that he might like. Yes, look how beautiful. Yeah, so that's a, that's a kind of hard to come by. And then the other uh, deck I just want to mention is this one here. Um, this is the bicycle deck uh, that was produced for uh, the resorts and the uh, Filipino resorts called Thrill Makers. Uh, very, very difficult to find this particular bicycle deck. And I'd really, uh, I, I'd like to sell it as a set, but I don't have to. But here's the other version of the Thrillmakers, but it's an unbranded non-bicycle deck. Kind of move Both it back and the... forth so we can see. It's kind of a, it's hard to see in the light. There we go. And, uh, what a great selection. What a great yeah. selection, Mr. Zampetti. Seriously. So, so let me uh, come back to you all. Uh, let me see. This landscape thing. All right. So there you go. in any case, um, if any of these oh. interest you, email me. It's my last name at AOL.com. It's pretty easy to remember. Uh, and also, like I said, if you're looking for something in particular, um, I have about 8,000 decks. So chances are I probably have it. And uh, we might be able to talk and work something out. Thank you, Joseph. Really appreciate it. Thank this you. Was wonderful. I hope that everyone got to see some decks that they've always wanted to uh, have, you know, an option to buy. If you like it, obviously, please email Joseph Zampetti, his email, if you need it. He's going to be in the chat room, so you can ask him directly if you missed it. There it is again. There it is right there in the lower third. 
He'd love right. to hear from you. Even if you don't want to buy something, write him and tell him yeah, what kind absolutely. of wonderful absolutely. job he did. Yeah, or, if you listen, got questions about any of these decks, uh, you know, I'll be happy to talk with you. I love talking about cards, so absolutely. And also, by the way, if you don't want to buy a deck, you know, if funds are tight for you and you'd rather trade, I'm open to that too. So, yeah, just give me a holler. Great, great. Joseph, thank you so much. Really appreciate your time, energy, and effort that you put into this spotlight. It's wonderful, wonderful. The chat room, let's see the ones, everybody. <laughs> Blow the chat room up. This is thanks a lot, Joe. Lee. Thanks to everyone else. I uh, wish everyone a great conference. For those of you, thank you, Joe. For those of you who are asking if there is a list, uh, no, there is not a list. You're going to have to actually email each of the table spotlights if you want a list. And possibly they have a list, uh, but we, we do not supply a list. It was our an incredible amount of work just to get this to put together. So to get everyone's list of what they have for sale, oh, I, I, I turned gray. I turned gray. Okay, we have our next table spotlight he is a brand new member he's also a playing card designer and he's got a, a project on kickstarter right now let's show him some love in the chat rooms throw those ones kelly tenho hi uh good uh, good afternoon or evening everybody uh thanks so hello much for having us here we're, we're really honored to be uh to be here i brought my wife along as well she's actually the artist uh, i'm gonna tilt my camera down just a hair so you can see uh, some of the stuff that we have on the table here. But, um, but yeah, we're the uh, husband-wife team of Red Fox playing cards. And we have three, three decks out. Uh, like you said, we do have a version on Kickstarter right now, which is our, our V2. Uh, my wife does all the artwork. So we've got these pencil crayons here. These are some of the pencil crayons. Uh, that she's used. Uh, there's some of her uh, original art uh, that she drew on an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. Uh, Fantastic. What's your wife's name? Again? Uh, this is Ricky Tenho. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Ricky. And um, so, yeah, like I said, we have, uh, they're, they're very uh, unique uh, marked deck of cards to them are. Uh, they actually, every deck comes, uh, the marked deck comes with uh, a pair of these red decoder uh, and I know you guys earlier were talking about uh, Mark decks of cards and with green daubs. Uh, and this is a, a similar uh, type of marking system, but there's so much color in the cards. Uh, and the colors were specifically chosen so that when you wear the red glasses, you can actually see the markings very clearly. Uh, once you know where the markings are, the glasses are kind of a trainer tool. Um, you don't need the glasses to perform magic. I've done magic tricks uh, reading the markings without the glasses because they are a little bit uh, suspect. Uh, but, uh, but the glasses are for learning the, the system. This is uh, so also, cool, man. This yeah, is so come, cool. Come with uh, uh, an additional website. We have our main website, uh, redfoxplayingcards.com, but there's also uh, our secret website uh, in the glasses here that comes with uh, magic trick tutorials uh, some that are very uh, specific to these cards. Uh, so the chat room right now is saying if anyone is at a poker game and someone's wearing 3D glasses, yeah, then don't then bet your money. These, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, most people 3D. Uh, these are actually red, red uh, decoder glasses. But yeah, if you're at a poker game and you're wearing these, uh, watch out. Uh, we do have an unmarked version, our, our version 1.1, which is uh, a purple back uh, that that uh, you can legitimately play poker and, and not be cheating. But if you want to cheat, I guess you would get the, uh, the version 1.1s, uh, which are, is, is a marked deck and, and are live on Kickstarter now, our version uh, 2.0 decks. And, and these are all available at your website, redfoxplayingcards.com? Yeah, right, right now, um, we don't have a, a store open right now on the site. Uh, it's just the Kickstarter that you can get all three decks. Uh, the, these decks you can purchase directly from me, uh, the version one and the version 1.1, you can purchase direct from me or any, uh, any retailer, uh, that is with Murphy's magic. Murphy's magic carries all three of these decks. Uh, so any retailer around the world that has access to Murphy's magic can, can sell you these decks, Red Fox playing cards, uh, buy the V1 and the V1.1 directly from myself and, and all three of them are, are on the Kickstarter. The version 2.0 is the main Kickstarter right now. And the version 1 and version 1.1 are actually free shipping add-ons uh, for supporting the version 2 Kickstarter. 
fantastic. Can you do me a favor? Can you yeah. show us the, the sticker, the little sticker of the fox? Can you just hold it up for us? Yeah, for sure. I've got, I've got some more stickers here. This is our little mascot, our red fox mascot. Very cool. And I also have our, uh, our, our logo. If a lot of people don't know, it's actually an ambigram. So you can see it says red fox when you read the words. And when you rotate it upside down, uh, that's great red fox do that again do it again do it again <laughs> yeah <laughs> there's red fox and then upside down so fun so red fun fox. i've actually got uh i've got my nice uh baseball cap uh, red fox <laughs> logo there and on on my shirt we don't we don't sell branded clothing that's that's uh just for me but uh, but we have other things. We have uh, poker chips. This is our, our version uh, version two poker chip, one of our add-ons. And uh, we have a version one add-on. We also have... This is the Ace of Spades. Yeah, there's our... The original of, artwork. The original the artwork for the Ace of Spades. Hold it, hold it, hold it still. We want to see that. This is great. Oh, should I go higher? There we go. Oh, right there is perfect. <laughs> well, how long did it take you to draw something like that? Um... This probably would have taken two or three hours. I think over all together, I was adding up my hours and I think it took like 105 or something for this version and 105 for this version here. And then we wow. just modified it a bit for 1.1. But Well, it's clear your hard work has paid off. This, these decks are beautiful. Thank you. We also have our little, a little add on. I'll hold this closer because <laughs> yeah. it's uh, our little card and our little fox. Swimming Fox for our underwater version. Uh, <laughs> yeah. the, the sand in here is actually a Bahamian sand straight from uh, Bahamas, uh, which there's, uh, there's lots of hidden secrets uh, inside the deck. And uh, I'll show the card back. Here. Yeah, please show us the cards. Um, here's, the, here's the card back. And there's a sunken ship in there. And there's actually different... Um, countries represented in some of the tears and rips in the in the sunken ship sails and uh bahamas is one of those countries bahamas right bahamas, so yeah. that's uh my that's dear to my wife did you heart. guys honeymoon in the bahamas we didn't but uh we're we're gonna go eventually once uh, <laughs> once the border opens up i guess i used to work there so i'm i'm very attached to it uh nice. here's some of the here's the jokers here for the this guy's upside down. No, he's not. No, he's not. No, <laughs> <laughs> this, this way. These are so fun. <laughs> there you go. And we they have, have secret uh, messages in them. Yeah, I put lots of secret messages. Yeah, all the all the quartz are redone. Uh, if you look at this guy, you can see there's you know water in there, and he's holding a piece of uh, is that coral seaweed, or seaweed? Yeah. He's holding. And different uh, parts of the sail and the ship, uh, you know, corresponding to the backs of the cards. Here's one. Jack, he's got a treasure chest and a. These are so nice. Everyone, pocket. throw some ones in the chat room for these these guys. This is beautiful stuff. So this one also comes. We have. We're from Canada, obviously. You can see the Canadian flag in the back, and our fellow Canadian, uh, Chris Ramsey. He's got all our decks. Yes. Well, just a shout out to, to that guy and and uh, yeah, all our all the pips are one way. They're they're designed, I guess, for the magician in mind, but also the the collector, the cardist, and then our one point one unmarked version is for for playing games and that one collecting has a secret as well. Message in it too. Yeah, there's a secret message hidden in here that when you look through the red filter, you'll be able to read. How fun. Base, so. and Ricky, can I ask you a question? Yeah, yeah, go for it. What, what, what attracted you to designing playing cards? I mean, you could have designed anything, right? Like the, you could have done literally yeah. anything. Why playing cards? It's well, we're I guess we're a team. So I'm I'm the magician. I'm the the card guy. I had uh, I had a business name that was actually Kelly Cards, and my wife was lovely enough to help me design a deck. So sort of jump on board and. And uh, I had a, an idea, but I had no idea how good she would make the cards look. She just kind of ran away with, with the 100% the design artist. Very great. 
Very great. So if people want to get these decks, the stickers, the three decks, the glasses, tell us how we do this. Yeah, the uh, easiest way to remember, I guess, is uh, redfoxplayingcards.com. Uh, from there, you can contact myself if you want to order directly from me. Uh, in, in the next couple of weeks, I'll have a link to the pre-order store uh, after Kickstarter is over. And right now, there's a link on there directly to the Kickstarter. Uh, so if you head over to redfoxplayingcards.com, or shoot me an email at redfoxplaincards at gmail.com. Uh, I'll, I'll hook you up. So. Hook us up, Kelly. Hook us up. Yeah. This is fantastic, hey, man. You know, Thank if, you. Um, Thank you so much. You, uh, if you contact me directly and, and say you saw me on the 52 plus jokers, uh, I'll, I'll give, uh, I'll throw out a special discount for, for my uh, fellow members here on 52 jokers. Wow. Thank you. That's awesome, man. You don't have to do that, but we so appreciate something like that. Please show, show both of these lovely people, Canadians, some ones in the chat. Throw those ones. This is all for you guys. Okay, thanks so much, <laughs> Thank everybody. Thank you so much. We're honored to be a part of this and, and be able to share uh, our love for cards. And thank you for, for watching us. Well, thank you. Thank you again for having, for, you know, for coming and spending your time, energy and effort to, uh, to share this really wonderfully fun playing cards with us. So thank you guys. Yeah, thank no you. Problem. Okay. So Keith, if we could get the camera back on moi. There we go. Hello, everybody. So that was our first table spotlight. What do you think? Pretty cool, huh? I want to see some ones. Let me see some ones. I'm watching closely. There we go. There we go. Wally Bell, you had a question earlier. I just didn't have a chance to answer it. You were talking about the club deck. That is tomorrow at 7.30 is when we start the new deck launch. And then the club deck will roll into that, you know, around eight-ish is my guess. Uh, I saw that you were asking, will there be a limit? No, no. Uh, there's only 900 decks this year. We printed 1,000. 100 of them went over to Usi, and so once they sell out, they sell out. And so what will happen tomorrow after the um, – they're going to do a little presentation. And once that's finished, I'm going to send out a mailing to the entire membership, and you should have a link. It should be live. Or you can just go to the website as long as you're logged in. Go over to the club merch section, and you will see the first one will be the Usi 2020 club deck. Okay. Someone's asking, can we buy 900? No, no, sadly. Listen, we want, it's all about like sh sharing and spreading the love. So we want all of the members to be able to get decks. Obviously, if you want a brick or two, we can do that. You buy 900, the rest of the club will suffer. So no, you can't do that, Wally. But I appreciate you asking and, and trying to game the system. You're my kind of man. Uh, for now, we have about 15 minutes before our next event. We're going to go visit Jackson Robinson. So if you have to go to the bathroom or if you want to get something to drink or something to eat or you need to make a phone call or you want to get on social for the next 15 minutes and brag to the world that you're hanging out at 52 Plus Jokers Virtual Convention, please do so. Uh, we'll be back here at about 225, between 225, 230, which is at about 15, little less than 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, we're, going to turn the, we're not going to turn the room off, but I'm going to turn my camera off. And then we're going to turn everyone's cameras on so we can all chat and hang out for the next 10, 15 minutes. How does that sound? Yeah, we've never done this before. So hopefully it works. Let me see some ones. Put the ones in there. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay. Uh, guys, if you want to turn your cameras on and your mics on, I'm gonna, we're going to open the room. I'm going to mute my mic because my tech team and I have to do a little testing before our next run. But I thank you so much for coming to the first part of our day. Remember, in the next 10, 15 minutes, we're going to now, we're going to go visit Jackson Robinson King Wild Project. You do not want to miss this. Okay? So we'll see you guys back here soon.